Hello fellow cannoneers. I've been very busy enhancing our tools to include some of the latest data that we have been gathering. In particular, I wanted to draw your attention to a small but very significant change that I have made to the biology data map. We now have an unknown biology signal section, which shows biology signals captured from the Elite Dangerous Data Network, or EDDN for short. These are systems that we know contain biology, but do not have any corresponding composition scans to tell us what is there. This data is not just gathered by the Canon plugin, but by commanders running the many third-party software packages that interface with the EDDN. You will have noticed that the patrol system in our excellent plugin will direct you to the nearest system with unscanned signals. But the changes we have made to our map means that you can now investigate in advance to see what might be there for you to discover. If we zoom in on this area in the fourth quadrant, we can see a number of known biology types as well as a surrounding cluster of unknown signals in red. In this instance, the biology found in this area so far are brain trees and bark mounds. If you click on any of the systems, it will show you some information on the left-hand panel indicating what kind of biology has been found so far. One rather useful change we've made for the unknown signals is that we've added a link to the recently updated signals page. Clicking on the link takes you to a page that can help you predict what type of biology you're likely to find. The axes on this chart represent gravity on the y-axis and temperature on the x-axis. We have drawn coloured boxes on the chart that represent the known range of gravity and temperature. The bodies themselves are represented by circles centred on the gravity and temperature of the body, and if you hover over them it will give details. So if a body falls within a box with a matching body type, this means that the body is capable of supporting the biology indicated by the box. In this example, we can see that all the bodies are capable of supporting brain trees, as well as some supporting bark mounds. If you're searching for brain trees, this might be a good system to visit. If we look at another nearby star, we can see that none of the bodies are capable of supporting anything other than bark mounds, so we may want to give it a wide berth. So there you have it. I hope this helps you on your search for whatever it is you're looking for. If you have any ideas about improving our tools, please get in touch and give us your suggestions, no matter how asinine they are. Permission granted, Commander. Laboratory space will be allocated to put a successful landing.